Hey, howdy, hey, y'all. Welcome back to the channel. Rainbow Six Siege has filled a void in my heart when it comes to video games recently. X Defiant hasn't came out yet, MW3 can suck my schmeter, and to be honest, us FPS round-based shooter fans ain't feasting right now. I'm still relatively new to R6 with less than 100 hours total playtime at the time of recording, and I want to read off some of the stuff that's coming into Rainbow Six Siege with the new Year 8 Season 3 update known as Operation Heavy Metal. I've seen a fair amount of veteran players just not happy with some of these changes that are being made, so let's see why. Stay till the end of the video where I give you guys my thoughts and see how you can win a free t-shirt courtesy of me, myself, and I. But before we get into it, and if it ain't too much to ask, like and sub for more content like this. Okay, let's get into it. On August 28th, Rainbow Six Siege is going to get Operation Heavy Metal, a massive update to the game that I think will do a lot of good for this game. To start things off, we gotta talk about the new female operator who goes by the name Ram. Ubisoft has already nerfed this operator, but regardless, Ram comes equipped with a boogie auto breacher. This gadget is absolutely insane. This auto breacher device can be placed on floors and completely rip a pathway across them, giving players the advantage to head tap people through destroyed flooring. Ram also comes equipped with an M4, LMGE, a 1911, an ITA-12S, a stun grenade, and finally a hard breach charge. Many players, both new and veteran, have talked about the potential problems that this new operator may cause, and considering the fact that Ubisoft has already nerfed Ram once, it's not going to be shocking if she gets nerfed again. Alongside a new operator, we will be seeing a new commendation system being added into the game. This commendation system will allow you to give props to not only your teammates, but to enemy combatants who put up a good fight. The system has been broken down into three different categories, those being valor, dedication, and guidance. Something loosely similar to the appreciation system that's in CSGO ranked matches, and this is supposedly meant to deal with toxicity within Rainbow Six Siege. I highly doubt it will, but regardless, it's coming soon to the game. In Operation Heavy Metal, we will see a lot of changes coming into the quick match system. Their whole premise for this is to make the games faster and more accessible for new players. Now, being new to the game myself, I have to say that the skill curve is really staggering and steep, and for many people that's pretty intimidating. I'm sure Ubisoft is sick of hearing people talk about it, so they're modifying things about the game mode so it becomes easier for new players to play the game. Well, how are they going to make it easy? Well, let me tell you. Quick match will have reduced timers, pre-setups for defense and protection timers for attackers. The defender's pre-setups will consist of pre-deployed iron walls, rotation points, and gadgets across both bomb sites on all of the maps, basically taking the learning curve out of the game for new players to learn and instead giving it a more pick up and play experience. For attackers, the protection timer will protect you for about 10 seconds so you don't get spawn killed and spawn trapped as soon as the round starts. Unranked is also going to see a huge change as well starting with the name itself. Yeah, Unranked is no longer Unranked. Starting in year Eight, season 3 unranked will be known as standard. Now Ubisoft is making a very crucial update with this mode. They are eliminating operator and map banning phases from standard completely. This is because Ubisoft wants players to actually play the game without restrictions and limitations. With the changes of unranked still in mind here, they also plan on bumping down the overtime rounds to one single elimination round to prevent games from dragging out too long. For all of my arcade players out there, you guys are going to eat a little bit more than usual with this season. Ubisoft is adding a new game mode into arcade called Weapon Roulette. This mode is going to be a team deathmatch based mode with weapons that change on a preset timer. This mode was added in to cater towards new players who just want to hop in and test out certain weapons, or maybe even casual and persistent players who want to warm up and just do some reaction training before jumping into other modes. This next section is for all of my match watchers and siege creators. Last season, Ubisoft brought in a free cam feature to the theater mode that allowed you to essentially watch matches back from any and all angles deemed possible. In Year 8 Season 3, and this is personally one of my most anticipated features, you will be able to remove the HUD so you can record over matches and turn ordinary gameplay into a cinematic wet dream. Some other quality of life features coming into Year 8 Season 3 include being able to kick people from your squad and being able to read patch notes from within the client without having to open up a web browser. That's pretty much the entirety of what's coming into Operation Heavy Metal. So what are my thoughts? There's a lot that I'm loving about this update. The new operator is pretty dope with a few downsides and I'll mention those later. The restructure of quick play is really nice in the eyes of new players and I love the additions being made to the theater mode that gives content creators a reason to use it. One thing I am not sold on is changing unranked to standard and eliminating the map op ban system. Unranked is the go-to system that 99% of experienced and veteran players recommend to new players. They do that because they want the new players to use it and learn from it and get used to playing in a competitive environment. Like I mentioned earlier, 
here it seems like ubisoft is currently making the conscious effort to tailor this game more towards newer players which in my books is all fine and dandy but i have seen the discussion surrounding these updates to quick play and unranked from veteran players and these guys aren't too happy and rightfully so and the first thing people are going to assume that since r6 is moving more towards the beginner casual gamer here is that the player numbers are low and to be honest that's the farthest from reality with an average mark between 56 and 65 thousand players on at any given time just on pc alone as far as the new operator goes i'm very excited to see how this new op plays in more competitive environments ram operates more so like a heavy operator which means she will need support from operators like iq zero thatcher operators who were able to utilize surveillance emp or call out traps just so ram can use her ability properly she's going to get used for a lot of vertical gameplay which is nice but right now just from my experience playing with ram so far she's just not that well rounded of course we have about two weeks until the new season comes out so that could very well change i also want to talk about quick play the new quick play system is a great idea but the execution is just not it when you queue into a match as an attacker the bomb sites are already exposed half of the map knowledge and gameplay knowledge such as drone placement stems from actually being able to find bombs and hide your drones as a defender the timer is cut down significantly with iron walls and rotation points already being set up like i mentioned earlier again the knowledge aspect of where to place walls and rotation points is completely gone i know for a fact that if i started playing this game for the first time when year 8 season 3 drops i would probably be confused as to why people are making more entry points and building more walls when they've already been built and made i get it though quick play is meant for the dude who don't give a shit and just wants something to play on ranked however I don't really understand. Sure, you can place walls and rotation points wherever you want, but no ban phases? No more than one overtime round? Unranked is for the people who want to practice for ranked matches or want to grind so they can play ranked. Limiting the experience isn't helping anyone learn faster. You're just making it harder on the newer people by doing this. Now granted, even though I just got done saying that this update doesn't seem to be doing a whole lot as far as helping new players learn how to play the game, I still think that this is very beneficial official for a lot of new players and it's going to benefit Ubisoft in the long haul. This game has now hit a new wave of popularity with a lot of people. And how are they going to capitalize on it? They're going to make the game function well for new players. There's a stigma that constantly evolves around Rainbow Six Siege when it comes to new players wanting to hop in and actually experience the game. And the stigma is, is that you have to be either really good at games, you have to learn how to play the game in a week, and the game is just riddled with hackers. Even though all of those are kind of true to an extent, two out of the three are immediately going to be vanished as soon as the new season starts are they taking the strategic thinking out of playing this game 100 they are but for new players that just want to hop in and see what it's all about they just want to taste test everything before they hop in and start getting bigger and better bites of whatever they want out of this game so i can understand on a veteran perspective why people are mad about it but i can also kind of cater to the new people who are intimidated to play this game i don't know it's just a very weird thing but again i think all of this is great stuff for rainbow six siege and ubisoft probably one of the smarter business decisions they've made in the past five years or so let me know what you guys think below about all of these crazy updates real quick before we go i'm doing my first ever giveaway on this channel for this t-shirt you can wax your carrot in the way you can enter if you're interested is by clicking that google forms link in the pinned comment if you join the mosh pit aka become a paid member you get an extra entry i hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did make sure you hit that sub button that like button and casually tap that notification bell for more content like this and as always my name is Redbeard mortis speak loud speak the truth and I'll see you in the next one.